Everyone shaking their head. So rude. Mm. Okay. You're not fooling me, okay? You are not fooling me. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing okay and everyone is doing well. Another day, another Love Island review. Um, this is also going to be our last review of the week because as you guys know, there is no episode tomorrow. So we get a little break, okay? We definitely do get a little break. So as I usually and I always say, number one, if you haven't yet subscribed, of course be sure to subscribe. And number two, please get cozy and comfy with your horror Avina and your snacks. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> and I really hope you enjoyed the rest of this review. Alrighty, so before we do actually get, okay, before we get into the episode, I'm just going to give an overall view of how I did find that episode. I was 100% underwhelmed, if I'm going to be honest. I was quite disappointed. I literally felt like we were watching, well, watching you know, wow, Sarah, get it together. We were watching the Tasha and Andrew show for one hour. Um, yeah, it was... I don't know, I just felt like they could have given us more. We literally just focused on Tasha and Andrew throughout this whole episode. And you guys already know how I feel about Tasha and Andrew. And if you don't know, you can definitely go and watch my other reviews because my views still stand, okay? Thank you very much. So let's start off with India. As you guys know, India ended up getting a text that there was going to be a recoupling in which the guys were going to be able to pick who they wanted to be in a couple with. Because there was the same amount of girls and also the same amount of guys, of course, no one was going to leave the villa. So I think if anything, it was just a way to kind of like swap the couples around um, and also also see who the guys were actually interested in pursuing over the next couple of episodes so no surprise there instantly Tasha and Andrew end up going for a chat you guys already know my thoughts so let me not <laughs> but they were speaking about the date that she had with Charlie as you guys know Charlie chose Ekansu and Tasha to go on a date with um, Charlie and Tasha have had some interesting conversations here and there I do think Charlie 100% has a huge interest in Tasha and Tasha vice versa we're still gonna get into that because I actually do feel like Tasha is just like Ekin Sue, literally Ekin and Ekin Sue Jr. But that's just my personal opinion. Um what was quite interesting was she was saying that, you know, she feels like she's lost herself, you know, like she's not the same person who was in the villa in week one. And I didn't really get that comment if I'm gonna be very honest with you. I don't know. That's just that, okay? So India and Jay and Antigone um, ended up speaking about the recoupling as well. There's not really much I wanna flag up with this. Um, if anything, they were just trying to speak to Jay to see, oh, where exactly is your head? Because you guys know Jay automatically has had a huge interest in Paige. Um, I'm not doubting that he isn't necessarily attracted to her, but I do think this is probably down to the producer's cuts and also the producer's edits, because there's no reason for the public to be confused as to why Jay wants to all of a sudden pursue Paige. Um, so if anything, I think the producer should be blamed for that if i'm going to be honest they should definitely be blamed they should have given us scenes so that we're able to see okay maybe there is a potential there rather than it just coming across extremely random that oh now jay wants to pursue Paige. one thing that my cousin did actually say though was that you know, okay, I'm talking fast again, so breathe. <laughs> but you know, in the um, the last public vote in which we were able to vote for our faves, she was saying that possibly Jay actually realized that Ekansu was part of the bottom three as well, which means the public may not necessarily like her. So he's trying to latch onto someone that he clearly knows the public likes. Do I think he's playing such a game? I'm not really sure right now, but that is very interesting to note if I'm gonna be very honest with you. Um, let's speak about the guys, okay? Because I have already been saying this, the guys are chatty patties, it is given very much Patricia and not Peter if you know the Real House as reference you definitely do know but the guys were basically speaking about the situation with Tasha um, I believe it was Dami, Jax and Luca the chatty patties of the villa um, and then of course Andrew came over so they were just like oh he's coming he's coming he's coming but from the boy stance in the villa they just kind of see it like Andrew is settling by staying with um, by staying with Tasha I was about to say Ekansu Jr <laughs> but that Andrew is basically settling by being with her and of course everyone can see that Tasha's head turns at every given opportunity when a new guy comes into the villa so they did definitely try to play it cool but in the episode and as the episode goes on we see that the guys are actually very vocal about how they feel about the Tasha and the Andrew situation overall so let's move on to Charlie going on a date with Ek not going on a date going for a chat with Ek and Sue about the date um not really much I want to flag up from that. Personally, I don't actually feel like Charlie is as interested in Ek and Sue as she probably thinks. Um, even on that date, um, even on that chat, sorry, in the chat, Ek and Sue was speaking to Charlie about, oh yeah, like, you know, Tasha told me that your date went well. And he was like, oh really, what did she say? So I think if anything, that should low-key have given Ek and Sue the green light to see, okay, maybe he is very interested in Tasha because if I'm telling you that we had a good date and then I told you the other person that you went on a date with said that the date was good, why do you want to know what that person is saying if you really like me as much? Am I making sense? I think I'm making sense. So Charlie now ends up going to speak to Tasha about how she found the date overall. Um, 
I just feel like Charlie's extremely boring. I feel like I'm honestly watching paint dry, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Tasha, and this is why I this is why I call her Ekin Sue Jr., okay? This is why I call her Ekin Jr. Because I think the thing with Tasha is Tasha isn't open about the changes or the switches that's taking place in her head. I think with Ekin Sue, she says it out loud, you know, she's sneaking on the terror, she's kissing whoever. But with Tasha, it's almost like she's saying certain stuff, but her actions are saying something else. And I think that's where the confusion probably that's why she feels lost, because that's where the confusion lies, my love. You're not fooling me, okay? You are not calling me. So whilst Charlie and Tasha are having a chat, Andrew is speaking with Jay, but he's also low-key speaking to himself. He was like, oh, I'm not a mug. Like, oh, I'm just a bit confused. Like, you know, um, one minute she's saying she's gonna leave with me and the next, you know, she's she's cracking on with him. Like, I just, I just don't really get it, but I'm not a mug outside, so I'm not gonna be a mug here. And I was just thinking, okay, but Andrew's all this murmuring, like, speak up, babe, speak up, speak up, speak up. And like I said, my views 100% still stand. I honestly feel like Tasha used Andrew as a safety net and I feel like in terms of their feelings, they may possibly have feelings for each other but Andrew is a hundred okay 110% whipped over the whole situation and he doesn't know that she's with someone he's with someone that's dangerous he doesn't know instantly Tasha now comes over to speak with Andrew and they're just having a conversation and I guess Andrew if anything just kind of wants to get into her head and figure out okay what exactly are you thinking what exactly is going on and then she then um he then asked her sorry you know if you guys were to go into a couple would you stay in the same bed with him and she was like yeah and then instantly he's just getting irritated he looks very flustered and looks very confused um Tasha then ends up walking off and low-key creating a scene <clears throat> I don't know did I miss something I don't know maybe I did miss something did I I don't think I missed something because I didn't I, how can I say this nicely I kind of feel like if anything Tasha walking off was her way of not wanting to take accountability you can't get upset at the fact that Andrew's questioning you about this when although your actions to him is one way you're saying something else to other people and now people in the villa are also starting to pick up on it as well so personally i do think the walking off was actually quite interesting i don't really understand why she was upset i feel like she didn't didn't necessarily take accountability of the situation and maybe walking away was just kind of like her coping mechanism to take control of the situation once again but like i said that's just me let me know if you think i'm being harsh or you think i'm not making sense if you agree or disagree i don't really mind but for me i just feel like the walk off was quite interesting so the guys now come to speak to andrew because clearly he is stressed and one thing that i tweeted okay as the episode was going on is that dami likes gist dami loves a good gist have you ever noticed whenever there's commotion dami's just lingering around putting his little two cents in da -da 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 -da. so of course dami ended up asking andrew you know like you know what exactly is going on the guys were there as well speaking to andrew about it and then when andrew was like just relaying the information he was like what what huh because he's a gist boy okay definitely is um but i honestly feel like um they were also giving him good advice if i'm going to be honest they were just like you know it's low key comes across like you're settling to be with her you shouldn't need to settle at the end of the day this is a game and this is also an experiment so basically don't sell yourself short over the whole situation um and one thing that dummy pointed out which is very clear and this is what i was saying as well which is why when people getting on to me about oh i don't like how you talk about andrew and fascia okay but what i said is true what i said is true because if she's so focused all right so in love with andrew whenever any guy comes into the villa it shouldn't even you shouldn't even have to look left or look right because you're so interested in andrew altogether so i think it's quite interesting um how the guys are also starting to pick up that Tasha may potentially be playing a game which means they're also on the same wavelength that i'm on and you may be on that wavelength as well yeah <laughs> So let's move on to the recap plan. Um, not really much that I want to say other than I find speech is a bit boring, but that's just me naturally. Um, I'll quickly give you a breakdown of the couple. So of course you have Luca and Gemma, Dami and India, <laughs> you know we stand. Um, we also have Jay and Paige which was very interesting was there a surprise no because we did know that jay did like Paige, and also he wasn't going to pursue things with ek and sue so wasn't really too shocked there um we had charlie and ek and sue which i was quite surprised at because i actually thought charlie was going to pick tasha but if you guys remember prior when they did have a conversation i think if anything charlie done that to just kind of respect where tasha is at because she's a bit confused um so that was shocking but at the same time respectful i have to give charlie that we then have andrew and tasha okay so when andrew was speaking about tasha of course he knew he was going to pick her anyway because Charlie ended up picking Ekansu obviously like the guys started shaking their heads when Tasha and I walked down and walked over to sit with him literally just shaking their head like oh almost because they already told Andrew bro I think I think and I feel like you are settling Tasha all of a sudden was like oh um what did she say again oh yeah everyone's shaking their head so rude mm. okay sis 
<laughs> we'll move on briefly to Davide. Davide ended up picking um, Antigone. I was a bit surprised. I thought he was going to pick Danica because obviously you guys remember in yesterday's episode, him and Danica shared a random kiss. So when he picked Antigone, who we like by the way, she is definitely good vibes, so we definitely stand. I was just thinking, okay, so why did you kiss Danica? And I don't, like I did say in yesterday's episode as well, I don't feel like Davide kissed Danica because he liked her. I feel like it was low-key just an ego boost because even after he kissed her, he was like, oh, that's a gift to you. Or you can leave. Do you get what I mean? So I wasn't really too surprised that Davide ended up picking Antigone. And of course that left Danica. So of course Jax had no no choice but to pick her um at first i did think it was a bit sad ish because obviously she was the only girl standing there and it's almost like i guess no one wants me but at the same time someone has to be last in the whole process of these things anyway um a lot of people were picking up on the fact that danica looks very irritated and quite pissed off she definitely did if i'm going to be honest and that's because for me i don't feel like she has solidified a good situation in the villa so she's low-key just living in limbo again so i think she honestly needs to try and stick it out till casa more to try and get another chance or another guy needs to come into the villa to low-key sweep her off her feet because even jacks when he gave the speech was like oh you know i hope she finds someone in this villa or someone comes in which is insinuating mm, sis it's not me or you today <laughs> um so yeah, those are my thoughts on the recoupling. Overall, I think it was definitely a tad awkward, a lot of screw faces, a lot of mm, mm, mm. Um, but I just feel like it wasn't really that deep um, and everyone should really just get on with it because it's a game. Thank you. <laughs> so let's move on to Tasha speaking with Gemma. Once again, definitely over the storyline, but it was definitely what was pushed in this episode. But second of all, I just felt like, ugh, I just felt like Tasha was angry for the wrong reasons. Or if anything, she's just angry because the guys maybe have caught her out because she was just like, oh, I just don't understand why they were shaking their heads. Like, I'm just feeling this way, I'm just feeling that way. But if you really like Andrew, then just get on with it. Am I overthinking it? I honestly feel like everything could be so simple. And it's even a good thing I'm not in that villa because if I was in that villa and people are just crying like this for every reason, I'm gonna be like, is this really why you're crying? Maybe people won't like me, I don't know. So let's move on to Ekansu and Charlie. Oh my gosh, this conversation was so awkward. Am I the only one who thought it was awkward? So of course, Ekansu was just like, oh, you know, like I'm surprised that you picked me. Very giddy. If there's one thing I would say though, um, and I've never not said this, but I do think Ekansu is very pretty. She did look really nice. Um, I think she was wearing like a blue dress or something, but I felt like she looks really pretty. But she's sitting down, right, talking to Charlie Charlie and she's just like you know I'm surprised that you picked me and everything Charlie's instantly just like okay yeah okay I, okay I'm thinking oh gosh this guy doesn't like this girl this guy does not like this girl do I think anything is going to pick up between Charlie and Ekans Sue? No, I do feel like even though Charlie did pick her to be in a couple with, he is 100% still going to try and pursue things with Tasha. And I think it doesn't really help that Tasha is also giving mixed signals in terms of, oh, I do like Andrew, but I do want to get to know you as well. So yeah, that was just really awkward. I just find Charlie really boring. I've been saying this, but it's like watching paint dry, if I'm going to be honest with you. So let's move back to Tasha and Andrew going for a chat. Like I said, it was definitely giving Tasha and Andrew Island today. They're not my winners, <laughs> okay? They are not my winners. Um, but she basically confronted him about the comment that he made in terms of you know my love island experience starts tomorrow um, and she was just like why would you say something like that and he was low-key just trying to defend himself like oh no i meant in the scenario or situation that jay would have ended up picking you to be in a couple with then yeah that would have been like the ultimate test for us um she basically started getting upset at the fact that the guys were shaking their heads when it was time for the recoupling and when andrew gave his speech so i was thinking at this point like okay andrew just kind of shut this thing down like it's okay let it go Andrew's like, well, obviously I can't speak for the guys, so um, maybe it's best that, you know, you have a conversation with them. And then Tasha's like, okay, then call them then, like call them here. I mean, let's, we're talking about it now. So she ends up calling Dami. I think Luca was with Dami as well, but anyway, they ended up coming over to the bed and Dami just didn't care. Like he was just like, okay, yeah, well, I did what I did. And I said what I said, because your actions are doing this and your words are saying this. I did like that because yeah, I'm not trying to be funny. No one should be scared of anyone. I'm gonna speak up and I'm gonna let you know what's on my mind. What was quite funny though was even after Dami had given his little speech, speech you know, even though, um, Sarah, get it together. Even after Dami had given his little speech, Luca was just like, well, yeah, I'll just copy and paste what he said. <laughs> so let's move on to Ekin and Ekin Jr. having a chat. So of course, Tasha is still rattled about this whole situation and now she's going to speak to Ekin Sue about the whole combo. Ekin Sue instantly is like, you know when someone is just helping you charge your batteries? Like, you know, sometimes you're feeling a bit low and then you speak to your friend and your friend's like, what? You are a bad girl. You better get up and recognize and understand your worth. That is definitely what um, Ekin Sue was doing. Um, Ekin Sue 
even said, um, yeah, you didn't do anything wrong. Like, if you're in a couple with Andrew and you want to get to know six, 10, 12 guys, you can do that. Like, you are 100% in your right to do that. So, it was definitely giving pep talk, if I'm going to be honest. Of course, we know that Ek and Sue would know because I feel like, if anything, although Ek and Sue does bring a lot of drama, she definitely understands the assignment. Like, it is Love Island and I'm not, me and you are not married with 10 kids and we have to, we have a mortgage together and everything. Like, no it's actually okay for you to get to know someone else. So I think that was good advice um, that I can see was given to Tasha, if I'm gonna be honest, because babe, wipe your tears, stop letting people affect you. If you wanna be coupled up with Andrew, you can, but be open and honest at the fact that you want to get to know someone else openly. Don't be sly about it, just wear your big girl boots, basically. So let's move on to Jax and Paige. So Jax and Paige were basically just having a conversation in the, so it's not where the bedrooms are, but you know, there's a kind of like a little lounge area. They were sitting down and talking. All of a sudden Jax was saying, you know, I definitely came in here wanting to find my best friend. I feel like I found that with you after two weeks if that's what you want to say brother be saying it but he did say that he does feel like he found that with Paige um if anything I probably feel like Jax is probably quite rattled at the fact that you know you're no longer in a couple with me and I did tell the guy that you are now in a couple with that yeah he can crack on with you once again was that good I don't think so like if you really felt this way about Paige when Jay initially approached you that he wanted to get to know her you should have locked it off S simple pimple easy squeezy lemon Easy squeezy lemon, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You should have honestly just locked it off completely. Of course, they ended up getting a little, you know, a little close, a little, a little smoochy smoochy. And as they're smoochy smoochy in, the door opens up, opens up for the door that leads them into the bedroom. And Jay's walking, so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, is Jay gonna see them? Well, then Jay didn't end up seeing them. But if he did, that would have been good scenes. That would have been very good scenes. Or maybe I'm just chaotic. <laughs> maybe I'm chaotic. <laughs> Well, you guys know we stand Paige over here, okay? We stand Paige heavy, she's a sweetheart. So I just want Paige to be happy overall, whether that's with Jax, whether that's with Jay, whether that's with someone else. I just want Paige to be happy. So last but not least, let's go back, okay? Back again to the whole Tasha and Andrew situation. Um, they were speaking again because I just, I just couldn't. I'm just, <sighs> what was annoying me was that they were showing us Paige and Andrew, not Paige and Andrew, sorry, Tasha and Andrew, Damien and India was standing right there, but it's, it's this mic that you want to come and raise the volume for. It's not really given what you think is given because they aren't our winners. I and mean, we actually don't really care for this whole situation. But yeah, they were just having a conversation um, simply about how she was feeling again. I just don't really know. I feel like Tasha right now is definitely given 100% confusion. And I think Andrew needs to open his eyes to see the light. Um, no one's saying that they don't like each other, but Tasha's not feeling you as much as you possibly think that she is. And you're wasting your time. I feel like you're wasting, I feel like, yeah, I feel like he's wasting his time, like, Andrew, wake up, babe, just wake up. So guys, that is the end of this review. As you guys know, we did already get a glimpse into Sunday's episode, which is gonna be all things Dami and India. Um, I do think the sh um, the short scene that they gave us was a bit awkward, but it's nice to know that we are going to be getting some Dami and India screen time. And from the short clip that they did show, we can see that they do end up going on their first date. A lot of meddling, a lot of smiling, a lot of cheekiness, a lot of flirting, a lot of eye contact is given exactly what it needs to give. So it would be really nice to kind of see what's gonna take place and happen on Sunday. As you guys know, today is Friday, so there is going to be no Love Island review tomorrow. So if you haven't yet caught up on my other reviews, you 100% can, but we're not gonna see each other till Sunday anyway. Once again, I wanna thank you so much for your love and for your support. Please let me know what you thought of that episode down below. Um, this week was a great week because we hit 25K. <laughs> 25k so yeah honestly want to thank you guys so much for your love and also for your support please do take care stay blessed and i shall see you on sunday Bye.